Okay. Um, got a little bit of a situation here. I've got some mechnoids, a lot of them, centipedes and stuff. Uh, but I think this is a perfect opportunity to try to show how leveraging nature. I've got a caribou herd. I've got an, a deer herd and a muffalo herd. And one of the items that I have in my inventory is a psychic animal pulser. And what I want to do is get everybody inside. So let's go ahead and make sure my zones are right. I think the inside zone is area two. So let's just make sure everybody's in area two. Nobody goes anywhere beyond area two. The animals are fine. I can I can actually expand area two out this way so we can get to this if necessary. I don't want anybody outside here. I don't want anyone outside there because what I'm going to do on this is use a psychic animal pulsar. Now again, these mechnoids are fairly nasty. They're centipedes with blasters on them. Uh, these centipede blasters are, you know, again, very high level, you know, like high armor, high, high defense. You know, they, they withstand heat real well. Um, they've got no dodge chance, but they've got uh, pretty good shooting accuracy, which is not good. And all of them are at 100% uh, health. These things are, are, are tough to kill. Now the, the other mechs that, that came in at the same time, there's only one blaster and a couple of these lancers. These lancers should go down pretty quick. Well, what I'm going to do is get everybody inside. So everybody's inside. Let's just apparently come up here. And, and by the way, the, the, other, the other four people are on a uh, uh, caravan run to uh, sell off some stuff. So let's go to schedule. I want everybody in area one. I want all of the uh, dogs, animals, dogs, where are my dogs? I want all my dogs in area, I want all the dogs in area one. And we're going to go ahead and set off this, um, this psychic, no, I don't want, I told you guys stay in area, have I signed everyone to area one? Make sure I've got this right. Zones. Oh, I got to clear that one section of area one. I don't want people. So let's nope. go clear area, area one. I don't want people coming outside. You can't meditate today, guys. Um, I'll move you. I'll, I'll expand area one over here so you can meditate in this temple if you want to. And I'll throw some meditation spots down here for people just so they can meditate. But when I kick off this uh, psychic uh, uh, animal pulser, it should cause all the animals to attack the mechnoids. This might be kind of fun to watch. So, uh, you guys that are going out, stop. There you go. And I want one person put this on a little bit slower speed. Who wants to do this? Lobster. Why don't you come and activate the psychic pulsar? Let me make sure there's no animals inside here. Well, there's a few. There's a squirrel here. So we got to watch out. That squirrel's going to come and attack the people inside. So let's go ahead and do this. This ought to be fun to watch because all the animals are just going. Okay, he's done it. Where are you going, lobster? You're going to go out now. The squirrel is gone, manhunter also. So why don't we take these guys here and just kill a little manhunter squirrel? You guys can do the same thing in case the squirrel comes to you. And let's watch the carnage over here as buffaloes like started. Yeah, here are the 
buffaloes, caribou. They're just all going to come. Everybody's coming to kill the Vecnoids. It's just, just a hoot. It's smashed to pieces by uh, buffaloes and wolves. Down here, we've got the same thing. These might. These are getting smashed by uh, by deer. Just deer. Deer are just killing mechnoids. I think it's so funny. Now this guy may actually be able to fire on some of them, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think these guys are all going to die, and uh, we're just going to have to stay inside for a while. See, so are we killing the squirrel? Oh yeah, squirrel's dead. So you guys can go about your business. And as long as everybody stays behind the walls, we can sit here and watch. Oh, but it looks like the two Lancers are dead. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, double the fun. I got a giant raid by the Night Dragons, and they're going to run into all the animals too. Of course, they probably could have gotten uh, taken out by the uh, by the Mechdoids, but uh, this group of animals here is going to go after these guys up here. This ought to be an interesting uh, an interesting raid. Very interesting. Let's see how how is this thing close to dying? Not really. What are these guys doing? What this this are they just doing a standard attack? They'll prepare for a while. So they're gonna prepare for a while. Well we'll see how well they can prepare. Oh, here come the animals. Whoa! What's going on over here? It looks like a couple of the mectoids are already dead. So, while this is going on, who's my best shooter in this group? I want to be careful. I don't know if I want to get these guys to kick off their attack right away. They're going to come up and around. That's a pretty good sized group. Mini guns, EMP launchers, sniper rifles. Not many animals left here to attack this group. Yeah, they're they're preparing for a while. Okay. Now I need what's going on over here. These animals are probably all going to be dead, so we're going to have to deal with this this attack ourselves. So, let's see. Who do I want to bring in on this? It's an awful lot of guys and a lot of a lot of hurt that they can put out on us. Do they have any explosives? No explosives. So, let's um Who's got the best, uh, okay, you're the best shooter. So White, I want you to come over here and come over here to the mortar. And then I want everybody else, and this may be dicey, but hey, that's what we like to play the game for. Hi Blaze, did you join? Howdy. This is this is crazy. We're doing something crazy. Uh, I heard you're sending the uh, farm animals out to kill mechanoids. Well, yeah, I did that, and they've done a good job, and and I probably should have waited because uh, I now got a raid of uh, 28 uh, uh, pirates with all kinds of heavy weapons. And the mechnoids would probably have done a good job on them. Although there's one mechnoid here that hasn't really taken much damage. The caribou are taking care of this group of four of them. It was like a group of deer 
and a group of mufflos tried to take out this one group, and the one mechnoid exploded, killing a bunch of the animals. Actually killed a couple of the bad guys, too. Um, <laughs> which is fine by me, you know? So let's... Well, it's kind of like in V Rising, where the guy throwing the fire bombs ends up being barbecued by the fire bombs. That he... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that he... So... This is going to be an interesting little fight here. Let's get my guys over here. Caravan arrives at O-Meter. Okay, so let's go do this. This is where I just wanted to do trading. I wanted to sell off all my... all my crap. I'll keep that. Keep that. Oh, jeez, I'm already over what they can... Uh, what they can afford, but I can buy, let's buy a shock lance from them. Sell that, sell that. See, I got some of this other stuff I could sell them. Yeah, let's do this. And I'll buy the insanity lance also. They still... Okay, is there anything in here that I really want? I don't want goats. Buy all their components. Buy... I was low on steel. I don't have plasteel. Oh, there's another, there's another one of them psychic pulsers. I'll buy that. Okay, that looks like a good, uh, that looks like a good trade. Uh, let's accept that and then take my caravan and send you guys back to Carpathia. It's going to take you a while to get there and then jump back to the fight at Carpathia. All right, so let's get everybody around in position. Uh, I don't know. I've got I've got a whole bunch of deer here still still attacking this one mechnoid or this one centipede. I think the centipede's going to go down. Uh, Picked it up by deer. Yeah, it's being taken out by a herd of deer. <laughs> well, no, this is this this is caribou. Caribou had taken this one out. Okay, worst worst Rain deer. Yeah, reindeer are killing it. So. Santa's, Santa's reindeer are killing a mechanoid. You know, okay. um, I'm I'm torn here. Do I, because because these these reindeer will spot me as the target if I go if I come out. All right, I think we gotta, I think we've got to come back. Let's come back. And. White, I need you to man the mortar. And I want you to set target of the mortar right in the middle of this group of bad guys. Because I think the uh, I think the centipede's gonna go down here in a minute. And then there's well, I don't know, there's maybe I don't know, maybe 10 caribou that are going to come back. They'll probably get murdered, though, because these guys have got, as I said, mini guns and machine, light machine guns and stuff like that. Okay, here comes the, the mortar rounds. White, are you shooting? First round. Oh, that's a hit. That killed one. Uh, yeah. Ripped her to pieces. Well, these guys might even... Some of these guys are going to have... <laughs> There's someone with asthma in both lungs. He got hit. 
Some of these people have gotten hypothermia. Some of them, the one I don't like are the ones on. Oh, there goes another group of them. And they're just standing there letting me uh, pound on them. I don't like the guys high on go juice. That's. Up, oh, and I've got. Uh, how many bad animals do I have left now? There's a dozen uh, mad animals. Let me go ahead and get my defenses set up right. In the event, in the event that uh, these guys do try to attack me, so I want uh, go there, go there, go there. No, don't go there. You need to stay on the mortar. Sorry. And the mortar. Okay, it looks like they're starting their attack. So let's uh, redirect the mortar round. See if I can get a mortar round off on them. Say about there. That was good. I killed someone that was already. Okay, here come the animals. comes. Not a very good mortar round. Uh, looks like the animals have stopped being mad. Okay, how many uh, how many bad guys have I got left? 25, so I only killed like three of them. But I bet you some of them are beat up. Let's see. Caribou attacks. He's got, yeah. Left arm destroyed. Uh, oh, he got hit by his own submachine gun. He got hit by his own gun. He got hit by his own gun. The sniper has asthma in both lungs. Got hit. So a lot of people have gotten hit. They're attacking my south wall, and this is where I'm the most vulnerable. Um, let's see, do I have anything psionically that can just give them a world of hurt? I can throw the bullet shield up. So, why don't you, let's let them come in a little bit closer. Can I get another mortar round off on these guys? Let's try around about there. Now, where are they going? Yeah, guys are coming in. Oh, step back. Okay, get ready. I'm going to throw the bullet shield up. These guys are coming to the wall. Yeah, go ahead. Bang on the wall. See if I care. Let's see. There's the bullet shield. Throw it up there.
door. Door is at 82%. Uh, no. Go here. I want the door to stay open. And everybody just murder everybody that's in here. Another mortar round. Oh, I didn't get anybody. Okay, so that's not good. Let's say, what do we have here? So that's done. Okay, I'll skip you for fun. skip you for fun oh and you just come Dogs, why are you? T my dogs always like to. Let's um. Let's rezone this a little bit. Clear area one. I have a dog that's trying to come into the middle of the firefight to uh, pick up a dead body of an enemy. It's your dog. Yeah, it's one of my dogs. Okay, you need to get out of there, and you need to. Okay. Go here. So your dog's just kind of wandering into the middle of the war. Yeah, that's what my dog does. Oh, look at this. They just set off their own... Um, they just set off their own bullet shield. So they can't hit me now. How long is that going to last? 24 seconds. All right. Come on out. Time for us to uh, go on the offensive. Camaro. You go kill him. Now where's the rest of them? God, how many of them are left? Oh, they're, they broke in over on this side. I've got a group of them that have broken in on the other side here. How many of them over here? Six. Ooh, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. I've got ten of them over here on the back side. This is not good. It's a white. Um, you come back over here. There's not too many of them left over here, so they had like 25 total. So you kill him. Let's see, can I kill this guy? And then I need... Uh, Helga. No, not Helga. You got hit. You go kill that guy. So we'll send two people out to kill these. And then the rest of these guys, we need to come around and protect against people that are trying to break in on our other side.
Shield belts are the boss. They shoot at me and their bullets shrug them. I shrug their bullets off, I run in with my Dane axes and I kill them. Okay, who's hacking on my wall? You're hacking on the wall there. You're hacking on the wall there. You guys are just running around out here in the outer the outer perimeter and they're not really doing anything. It looks like they may be trying to break things. Yeah, these guys are trying to break through. They're trying to break through my double wall here. That's fine. Okay, kill him. You're gonna kill him. And then the rest of you guys, let's come over here, and we're gonna we're gonna let's split the split the attack a little bit. You guys go up here to take care of him. You guys. You guys come down down here to take care of him. Okay, what have I got to deal with over here? You have got a pistol and you've got and you're essentially naked. Decky, go outside and kill him. You guys come out. Get ready to kill anybody else that comes to you, comes around the corner. Yep, they are now running away. We've killed enough of them where they're trying to run away. That worked out well. So, you guys, you're just banging on a wall there. There's a few people that are inside and they're probably going to try to like escape and damage my walls, which I don't want them to do. So we're just going to go outside and... Yeah, I wouldn't want them to do that. <laughs> I'm going to go outside and kill them. You kill him. Oh, they are running away, so everybody out. You guys have got nowhere to go. Is everybody dead over here? Okay, they broke through the wall here, so he's getting away. That's okay, that's just a door I need to repair. This poor lady over here, as she comes around, she's going to get hammered. And you guys are going to go kill Igor. Actually, is there anyone up here that can stun him or skip him? Let's just stun him. He's dead. Oh, poor Fatima, what are you doing right here? Headshot, she's dead. What are you guys doing? Oh, are you still trying to get through a door? Oh, he hasn't gotten through. I got two guys here that haven't gotten through a door yet. Well, you're going to be in for a surprise because I'm going to send these guys this way and. These two are going to come around this way. This turned out to be a very lucrative uh, attack by the bad guys. Too bad Kalod's not here, because he doesn't get to he doesn't get to coup de gras the bad guys because um, uh, one of them's going to get away. Decky. Murder him. You other ones. Come through. You guys. Kill Cory as he tries to get away. Oh, can we not get to Cory? Cory's high on go juice. Is there anybody up here with anything that can 
I got no one here that can uh, can hit him with any kind of psionics. He's dead. You guys go recover. You recover. Is there any other bad guys floating around anywhere? Numbers. Enemy. Oh, I got two rabbit hares around somewhere, and a raccoon and a rat still. But Cory the Rancher is the only one that's still moving. You guys gotta slow him down. If you can't, I don't think we're gonna catch him. Shoot him. I don't think your gun has, your gun doesn't have the range. I think one of these guys is going to get away. There's nothing I can do. One of them's going to get away. Yep. One escaped. Rats. All right. One escaped. I got some people that are hurt. Uh, ooh, that's hurt a lot. Um, uh, let's see. Where are you? You're there. Who can patch you up? Poor Gilda. Where's Poor Gilda? Poor Gilda, you need to... You need to come here. Poor Gilda. You need to tend to Ragnarburger. Everybody else can go about normal work. Although I'm going to find, uh, let's put everybody on. Uh, let's put everybody on uh, unrestricted. Probably not the best thing to do because I've got some low-end animals out there that are going to still be uh, bad to attack me. And uh, let's see, let's put the uh, put the dogs on unrestricted so they can uh, haul dead bodies. And who, who of my... You're okay. So it looks like Hideki might be the only one that's really in pretty good shape. The other guy is, well, he's, in, he's not in too bad of shape either. He's not in bad shape. But Hideki, I think he's good. What is Hideki's needs? His mood, who's got the best mood? Oh, the best mood is actually Camaro. He's just taking some bruises. His moving's going to, no, but his moving's slower. So Hideki, Hideki. You guys, go, 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 Hideki. Where are the, where are the victims that are laying on the battlefield? Up, oh, there's one. Nako. Nako is a female scavenge gunner, child spy, psychopath, fast walker. Well, Bye, cool. <laughs> yep. So, uh, no, you're not going, no, you don't, you go and melee her to death. That's your first job. Borgilda, Ragnaburger, come on, Ragnaburger, come there. I need Ragnaburger patched quickly because he had a heavy submachine gun wound to the neck. Okay, so you're safe now. Borgilda? She can go out and kill things, too. Because there's a couple people over here that need to die. Okay. Hideki. That one's dead. Okay, now go kill this one. I know Hideki doesn't like to kill people. He's not like, uh, Kalod. Insulting spree. Helga is going on. He's not like Kalod. Kalod, well, Kalod likes, to, okay, word of serenity, I gotta go word of serenity on Helga, because she's on a, on a insulting spree. Borgilda, 
why don't you come up here and I'm gonna have you kill who needs rescued oh yeah I just did a word of serenity on her and that essentially uh, stops her mental state Okay. But then she ends up, uh, she ends up, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, she uh, goes into essentially like a short-term coma, yeah. which is which is helpful. You don't want people um, running around insulting members of the team, or worst case, you know, you get people that have psychotic breaks where they're going to like destroy equipment and stuff like that. Oh man, this is good. Look at this carnage. So I took on a mech hive and a major raid. And boy, I've got a lot of. Well, I don't want any bio coated weapons, but we'll sort those out later. And these guys, these bio coated weapons. I really hate these bio coated weapons. I can't use them. All they're good for is for me to um, um, just scrap them. That's all that's good. I mean, I get I get steel and stuff out of them, but got a lot of dead animals out here. White. Oh, that's my guy. Okay. I was gonna say. Oh, lots of lots of guys in here. Is there anything? Orders. Allow. get in here. Anything good? Got a light machine gun, a couple of assault rifles. The bio-coated stuff, as I said, I, I can't use. It's it's like coated to just the individual pawn. So you can't you can't use any of the bio-coated weapons. And we've got some walls that we're gonna have to repair. We got these big mechnoids that we can use because the big mechnoids will um, will often give plasteel which means um, we get more um, we can build more bionics and stuff like that okay I think I've done everything so poor Gilda come up here and, oh, is, is Igor already dead? Igor's still alive. This is a guy that had uh, asthma in both lungs. How can you not hit him? You fired nine times and hit him once. Get closer. It's probably because it's night time. There we go. Now he's dead. Okay. Who needs medical treatment? There's a bunch of people who need medical treatment. Oh, Hideki, you can go in. All right, so why why are you out here? White, quit mining. Let's cancel the mining. It's okay. I don't need you to mine, and I don't need you to mine over here either. You can haul stuff, but you don't need to mine. Now, I, what do I? Where did they break the walls? They broke the wall here, so let's. Rebuild the door. They break in anywhere else? Don't think they broke in anywhere else. Go ahead and hunt that caribou. Lots of dead caribou. Which means meat for us. Deck 
Jackie needs treatment. Poor Gilda, where are you? No, come over here and treat Hideki. Let the dogs do their, uh, let the dogs do their thing. Well, that turned out to be pretty good. I only had, uh, Helga's the only person that's down, and that's because I, I used the, uh, psionic on her to Okay. White is, white is out here in the middle of the night trying to mine. Stop mining. You're such a dedicated person. Camaro needs... What's Camaro need? He needs... Treat Camaro. My person that's supposed to play doctor is not being a very good doctor. I guess mainly because they feel it's not critical. Ooh, a Nord hunt. That'll be fun. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to leave this. Uh, are you? No, you're. Oh, you lost a kidney. Crap. Okay, well. Lost it. Okay, what did he lose? He lost a kidney. Um, uh, Barvexo. He lost oh. a. Uh, he lost a kidney in the fight. He's got. Bless his little heart. What happened? Wiley's revolver bullet perforated his right kidney and shot his torso. <sighs> well, that's bad because I just killed everybody it's less off. like a game and more like just working in a trauma center. Well, but the, the problem was I had three people I could have taken kidneys out of. And I just had someone go kill him. I didn't realize that he had, that's my bad. My bad. I could have, uh, I could have extracted a kidney from this guy, from those uh, people that were down. But nope. I had to, uh, I had to uh, kill them off without checking my, uh, my staff to see if anybody needed a kidney. Now I either use a, uh, I think I've used all the Resmex serum, haven't I? No, I've got one left. But. I don't know if I want to use it on a kidney because I could technically get a kidney from uh, from a raid. Um, or one of your farm animals that seem to be pretty good fighters. Or the farm Well, it wasn't the farm animals. It's just wildlife in the area. Uh -oh. It wasn't my farm. It wasn't my farm animal. I don't have reindeer. I have uh -oh. uh, all I have are yaks and horses. That's all I have. Okay, but uh, this was uh, this was pretty good. Uh, I've got a few things that I've got to repair. That tree needs to go away too. Chop that. And it doesn't look like these guys dropped a lot of drugs that I killed. I don't like the drugs. What the, oh, what does he have? Man, he has marine armor on. Oh, and he's got a smoke pop belt. I can strip him. I can I can use that smoke pop. I can sell it. Oh, there's one. One person had uh, uh, a psychotic a psychotic drug. It's like um, uh, what does it do? Yeah, it's. It's like PCP or something. It, it makes them move 15% faster, reduces pain by 50%, reduces tiredness by 33%. But there's a good chance you can get addicted with it. So 
I've just already... like in the aftermath, eight gamma PCP three. Yes. Well, you know, I had to I had to wean my one guy off of uh, Smoke Leaf because he was like just a he was just a total loser until I got him weaned off of it. Okay. Uh, well, it's like what, what's the guy's name in Scooby Doo? <laughs> oh, Shaggy. Shaggy. Yeah. yeah. He's Shaggy. <laughs> 